Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server in Visual Studio Code. So let's start. So first we will open Visual Studio Code. I'll maximize this. We will go to this extensions tab. And here I'll search for SQL Server. We will click on this first extension and I'll click on this install. You can go down and learn about the details. You should have Microsoft SQL Server present on your local computer to work with this extension. The extension is installed. So I'll close this and uh, I'll close this extensions tab and now you can see here these two icons are added here so if i click on this sql server it will try to install some more services here so now you can see here installing sql tools service so now the installation is complete so you can see this add connection here uh, you can go to this uh, plus icon and it will show you add connection so i'll click on this and here you can give your host name on which your uh, sql server is installed as we have installed on our local machine so i'll give it a name of local host or you can give it your computer name so i'll click enter now here it is asking me if you want to connect to a specific database so i do not want to connect to a specific database so i'll click enter now here it is wanting the authentication type either you have a skill will server login or you have windows authentication here we have windows authentication which do not require any username or password skill will server authentication require username and password we will go to integrated for window authentication now here it uh, needs a connection name which will be displayed so i'll name this uh, uh, test connection and hit enter now it will take some time test the connection now click on this enable test service certificate now you can see here test connection appear and database tab appear so if i expand this database tab so you can see here we have demo db demo db2 and test db we will create a new database so i'll right click on this connection and i'll click on this new query now here i will create database and i will name the database uh, db1 and i will put semicolon all come here to this green button and execute query so now you can see here commands completed successfully so now if i right click on this uh, database tab and refresh this now you can see here db1 so now if i expand here we have this tables views programmability etc so i'll right click on this uh, table and you can see we have only refresh here so to create a new table right click on this database and new query and here i will create a new table so create table name table and then table name so i'll name this uh, student or std small brackets and inside here you will provide columns and your data types so first it is id and comma then is name and it is work or and it is the length is 50 and then comma and then f name and it is work or 50 as well and now i'll put semicolon at the end now i'll again go to this uh, execute query button and click on this so now you can see here commands completed successfully so now if i right click on this table tab and refresh this and now if i expand this now you can see here dpo std which is our table now if i right click on this and select up 1000 rows so it will show us the record we do not have any record in this but it will show us the design of the table now you can see here it is showing us id name and f name the column we will insert a record inside this i will go to this first query and i will change this to insert so i'll name this uh, insert into std and i'll remove this from this this as well and this as well i'll remove this space from here i'll remove this semicolon and i'll make this values and now i'll use this and i'll enter one comma and uh, tanvir and cite single quotes because it is a worker value so tanvir and then his father name is khan and now i'll put semicolon at the end now i'll control s this do not need to control s it i'll close this and uh, run this so the query is executed uh, if i right click on this uh, std and select up 1000 rows so now you can see here one tanvir and khan is inserted now if i come to this uh, query again and if i press this button a few times and now if i again come to this select query and execute this so now you can see here the record is inserted a few times into this table now similarly we can truncate this table for that i will remove this query and right here truncate table std 
and now I'll put semicolon and now if I execute this so now it is executed successfully now if I select top 1000 rows from this so it will show us empty now you can see here we do not have any record and so I can drop this uh, table also so I'll use drop and drop table I will mention the table name so it's td and I'll put semicolon now if I execute this if I click on this table tab and refresh this now you can see table disappear so in this way you can connect to escape server and restore your code so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and I'm sharing a lot of videos you are uploading every day on this channel so please subscribe to the channel to get more useful content thank you